Hello guys, welcome to my first OpenCV tutorial and uh, in this video we will learn how to install OpenCV on QT. So as you can see here, there is some basic code running on uh, QT and uh, the, uh, using the OpenCV library and we are displaying this image here. Okay, So let's get started. Okay, so I'll give an intro to what is OpenCV and QT, just for those of you who are new to it. So OpenCV stands for Open Source Computer Vision Platform, and uh, it provides some libraries which you can use to make image processing applications. Okay. And uh, it can be integrated with many languages like C++, Java, Python, and uh, many other languages too. So what is QT? QT is a uh, GUI development platform in which you can make applications and uh, deploy them. So it is somewhat like Visual Studio, but uh, it has that compatibility option with other platforms and operating systems like Ubuntu, Android, and Mac. So you can easily port your code to other operating systems without changing it much. And the good thing is that you can make GUIs in C++. So, all you, if you can make uh, OpenCV device in C++. Okay, so this video will cover installing only OpenCV 2.4.9 on Qt 5.4.1. For installing other versions, you will need to use CMake and other tools, which is, can be a bit complicated for beginners. So, here we'll provide you a direct build so that you can directly use it to. Uh, use it with the this particular version of Qt. There are better versions of Qt available now and also OpenCV, but uh, the essential components are still the same. So you can still use it for your first learning. In the future, we'll make some video in which you can port uh, other versions of OpenCV on other versions of Qt using CMA. Okay, so now we'll get to the download part and uh, here are the links which you need to download. They will be of course given in the video description too. So this is the link for OpenCV 2.4.9. Just go to the browser and uh, go and download it. I already have it downloaded so I am not going to download it again. But uh, you can download it and save it. Let's go to the next link. This is Qt 5.4.1. Remember, you must use this version and only this version, or else your build won't work. So, check this name when you download it. And uh, the name that I've set is x86 minw491 opengl 5.4.1. Okay, so that will be this one. And the size is 856 MB, like I specified here. Yeah. Uh, it should be 856 MB. Yes. So, just download this. And I have this downloaded, so I will not download it again. But uh, you can go ahead and save it. Okay. And uh, the next link. This one is the particular build that uh, you created for uh, OpenCV 2.4.9 with Qt 5.4.1 so you have you must use this link for that and you have to use these versions remember that okay. so this for the link and uh, you can use this here and to start with file okay and of course I have a save so I'm not done with them, but you go ahead and save it. And uh, these are the three files finally. So that if you need for the CV 2.0.9, you will be open source, uh, get this name only. And uh, this is my particular bit of the CV 2.0.9 So uh, once you have that, you're ready for the next part. Okay, so now you can install all the software that you have uh, downloaded. So just uh, click on them and uh, go on. this location. And you can set any location if you want. This is the default location, and uh, as you can see, that's where I have it installed. 
So you can click to this or you can change the location but there's only one thing you make sure that there is no spaces in your directory name like don't be uh, the document name as document and settings and uh, you know my files there should be no spaces in the link like you cannot do it something like this okay so uh, keep that in mind okay. so i have it installed i'll not install it again but uh, you can go ahead and click next and just go to installing all the files okay and uh, i'll open to you this is a self extracting archive so wherever you specify to uh, extract it it will extract it there and as, again don't forget that you cannot put any spaces in your directory name or else qt won't be able to read it okay so in the future also if you use any folders where there are spaces in the name remember that qt can't read them so uh, have to keep that in mind okay i have it extracted here which is in f open qt 2.4.9 you can give something of a name like this it's okay to have hyphens underscores anything but don't put spaces and uh, you get two folders like this build and source okay from this uh, extractor you will get these two folders build and source okay and the rest of the files you will get from this one here so uh, just click on that and this is also a self extracting archive you will just extract it where you want to and uh, make sure this is where i've extracted it and this will give you these folders build qt include and uh, this some text which you need for uh, running it on okay so uh, once you have that it's continue okay so once you've extracted it you can check uh, your opencv build qt folder and uh, these are the folders that will be inside it so uh, this specific folder bin this contains all the uh, library files which open QT needs to read in order to use OpenCV. Okay, so what we do is we have to put this folder in something called the system path. Okay, and what that will do is it will tell that you can uh, QT can always read files from this folder, and it knows the location of them. Okay, so what you do, you have to copy this location. Okay. This is my location here. Uh, you can see that uh, in this text file, this will be provided to you, of course. This is my location where I have put this build QT folder. You have to find your build QT extraction and uh, change the name there. Okay. So you copy this. Just copy this. Okay. And then, then you have to go here. Just go to the desktop and uh, or wherever you have your this PC and on my computer and uh, go to properties advanced system settings environment variables and path okay this path and don't go to user variables for mm, this username you have to go to system variables this is down here okay and put it there put a semicolon and paste it okay and uh, I'll not put it because I have it already. I'll show that to you, or you can check whether you have that in your path. Okay, so you paste it and uh, hit OK, and just go to command prompt and uh, write path. Okay, and it will show you all these paths that are specified. And as you can see here. This F OpenCV 2.6.9 will QT bin. This is already there in my path. Okay. So once you put it there, it should come at the end. Okay. So just verify it. And uh, if you're done, you get to do. Okay. So now you're ready to do the actual work on Q. Okay. So close all this. And uh, I just close these windows that are running for me. Give us something that I open in QT and uh, we'll do it's close QT and open it uh, from wherever you have it. You might get a desktop shortcut 
or so that put it in the startup here or you can just go to start and type cp i will show up okay. and you can cp from there okay. and you can go make, make a new project okay. make a new project and remember you have to check cp console application okay and you should find that and go to cp console application next go name just put a name and just give a few okay. and okay, you can just change it and this one this location this uh, make a new folder where you will save all your qt uh, documents and make that your default location make this is your default location you don't want all your uh, files to clutter anywhere so make a separate folder for this and make that your default location okay. next just put in there. Yeah. And you'll have something like this. Okay. You have a profile and a CPU file. Okay. This profile will have something like this. And this is where you need to add something. And this CPU file where you'll write your code. And you need this and you'll write your own code. Okay. So this profile, just there is a uh, text, uh, text provided to you. It's also there in your extract uh, where you extracted it. So you just copy this, okay, and uh, paste it there. Okay. And as you can see, this is again my uh, OpenCV install location, right? So uh, this is where I have my OpenCV include. If you can see here, OpenCV include folder. Okay, so you have to find your include folder, and you have to Put the name there, and uh, these double slashes are very important. Remember, you must put these double slashes, or the QT won't be able to read them. As a single slash is uh, meaning of something else. Okay, so uh, you have to change it to double slashes everywhere. And this is the library folder. So you have to find it there. It is fill QT like. And this location again, you copy this and uh, put this here. Don't remove these this backslash here. Just up to this much and just paste it in this. Okay. And don't remove this minus L and don't remove this slash here. Okay. Just paste your uh, live location in this. Okay. And uh, make sure you make these double classes. Okay. And leave these be. These are the names of the library files. You can see calc 2.9d config 4 to this file. So that uh, QT knows what to read. Okay. So you need this text. And uh, once you change these names, it's best that you save it in your uh, text file here so that you can always use it. So once you just change it, you need, this is all you need to paste in your profile here and we'll be good to it. Okay. So we'll jump to the code. Alright, so we'll do the code now and uh, as you saw in the code, it was displaying some image which uh, was this image here. Right? So basic code here and uh, this is actually a variation of an example from an OpenCV tutorial. So you can just go type OpenCV open image and uh, that's actually a basic tutorial. You can find more tutorials as well. And uh, you can see this is for uh, all versions of OpenCV 2.4. Even though it is OpenCV 2.4.13, it is still uh, valid for other versions. So as I said, you're using 2.4.9, and uh, this was the code in that. Yeah, have made some variation in it just for uh, simplicity. So, just copy this code, and we, of course, link in the description below. Okay, so once you've copied this code, uh, just go ahead and paste it in. Okay, so I'll explain this code a bit uh, in a while. But uh, this is the location where you need to put your own image. Okay. It can be any image, but right? you need to put the full part. Okay. Okay. And uh, if you are getting any 
lines underlines in this uh, in these uh, leaves here then what you need to do is go to build and run spinning so what will that will do is it will find the uh, locations of the libraries and then you can you can also okay. so this location you need to uh, give your own and i'll just show the example this image here okay so you need to go to properties details and uh, go to the folder file okay there are other ways to get it of course but uh, this is just one way and uh, this folder path and you have to get the name of the full name with the extension of the image okay. so uh, you can see this is just a copy of the image in some other folder so we'll put it in desktop we have one more in desktop so we'll just type that out And one thing to keep in mind is that uh, if you do copy this detail here, and what will happen is there will be a backlash again here. Okay. So what you need to do, you need to give this as a forward slash, or you could even use double slashes like this. Uh, for some cases, you just use a forward slash. Okay. So this forward slash here and uh, the image name, change the image name. Whatever it is, with the extension, okay. and once you do that, you can go here to run. Okay. You can also hit it with uh, Control plus R to run the code. And uh, once it's done, we'll show you something like when it's done, and uh, we'll show this image. Okay. And Qt has a lot of features in it, like on each pixel, it will show you these red, green, and blue values. And uh, you can zoom in on the image too. Uh, all sorts of other features. You can also save it if you're running a video. Then you can save a screenshot of it. So there are good features in it uh, compared to other IDEs. So that's one thing. And uh, before you go, of course, we'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you a lot. And if it did, please like and uh, share the video. And if you want to follow up on this series of uh, tutorials that we'll be making, this is our first one. And uh, if you want to help us to grow and reach more so that uh, they can also benefit from this video, like if you did, then please subscribe. Okay. And uh, thanks for watching.